Welcome to Central Virginia News. I'm Madison Turner. And I'm Ryan Balance. Today's stories will cover an update on the missing Longwood University student Angelica Hadsell, as well as UVA student Martise Johnson's recent arrest. We'll also take a look at a local bar, renovations in Farmville, and money raised during Longwood's Relay for Life. We begin today with an update on missing Longwood University student Angelica A.J. Hadsell whose father has been charged with four felony obstruction of justice charges, possession of ammunition as a convicted felon, and breaking and entering. Wesley Hadsell was charged in Norfolk General District Court on Monday after being arrested this past Saturday. He faces a preliminary hearing on April 29th. A search for Angelica was conducted the same day as Hadsell's arrest. According to 13 News Now, the search was conducted in Chesapeake after Norfolk police received an anonymous tip. Although clothing was found during this search, it has not yet been confirmed that the clothing belongs to Angelica. Hadsell's arrest marks the 20th day that Angelica has been missing. If you have any more information, please contact Norfolk Police at 757-664-7026. From Longwood University to the University of Virginia, Martise Johnson was arrested outside of the Trinity Irish Pub in Charlottesville by the alcohol and beverage control agents last week. He will appear in court on March 26, 2015. Warning, what is about to be shown is graphic material of the arrest. Yo, his head is bleeding! How did this happen, you racist? How did this happen? In these photos, Johnson can be seen with a bloodied face that was led to 10 stitches. Johnson's representative said that he is planning to plead not guilty to his charges of obstruction of justice and drunken in public. The Virginia State Police have opened an investigation requested by Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe. From Charlottesville to Farmville, Longwood University held its 12th annual Relay for Life. Here's Emily Keene with more on the story. In an effort to raise money for the American Cancer Society, students from Longwood University participated in this year's Relay for Life event theme Cirque de Relay. The event filled the university's Health and Wellness Center with 57 campus teams who took to the 200-meter track in support of the cause. Well, we have a team and each year we raise a certain amount and just Flyme Delta has given me a leadership position and it inspired me to want to give back this year for Relay. Because in the past, Relay's been hard on me. The passing of my mother, uh, it's just given me more of a drive to help out, really. Um, fundraising wise, we wanted to hit 55,000 by the event, which we did. We hit well over 60 by the event. And then after the event itself, we're almost at 65,000. And then in terms of teams, we wanted to have 70 teams, but then we realized that was a little unrealistic, so we shot for 55 teams, and we currently have 57. And then we wanted 1,000 participants, and we're almost at 900. Teams had the opportunity to fundraise before the event, as well as sell goods at their booths during the event. This year's total funds raised reached over $64,000, which put Relay for Life of Longwood University over the half a million dollars raised mark since 2003. The Relay festivities included a survivor walk, speakers, dancing, and hair donations to Pantene's Beautiful Links, which provide cancer patients with wigs. Well, all the ponytails, it takes, I think it was like 13 ponytails to make just one wig, and we had 60 ponytails. And I think it's just like a big, like a domino effect. Like you see one person cut their hair off and then people kind of peer pressure you in a good way to cut your hair off and you want to do it. But I've planned to cut my hair off for a really long time. Like I always said, my senior year relay for life, I want to cut it all off. So I did. For Central Virginia News, this is Emily Keene. A local bar in Farmville will begin to see major changes in the upcoming weeks. Bar 202 in Farmville, Virginia has decided to form a new partnership with Badeau's Cajun Kitchen. It was like kind of just like a shock and so when I found out that we were changing I was like really interested in like finding out like who was going to be managing it or running it or whatever and like uh, figuring out what was on the menu because I heard it was going to be like Cajun rather than just like bar food so I was really interested and I think a lot of people were too. Jason Badeau, the owner of Badeau's Cajun Kitchen in Keysville, Virginia, decided that it was time to further the restaurant and bring it to Farmville. The opportunity woke, um, arose with Dave Carmichael and Scotty Keaton for me to come in as a partner with them. and So we still had the bar 202, but now we're serving Badeau's Cajun Kitchen. Well, the concept in general has changed, so hours of operation are definitely going to change. We're going to be open seven days a week. Um, and then we have some other drinks that, um, even though 202 had a great bar menu and a great mix, we brought some things that are going to be a little more 
um, go with our theme. Like for example, we're bringing in um, Lazy Magnolia Southern Pecan Beer. Uh, we also have some drinks that are uh, designed specifically for our concept, like a Mardi Gras Flash, a Cajun Sweetheart. This new partnership began to form around six months ago. They are currently serving the full menu of Bodeau's Cajun Kitchen. Bodeau said their current plan is to have the grand opening as soon as the upstairs is complete, which should be done within the next three weeks. He also said that they will be having a banquet room and catering services available. They are planning to incorporate more theme nights during the week. However, they are still planning for trivia nights on Wednesday and for college nights on Thursday. From Central Virginia News, I'm Kara Forbes. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'm Ryan Balance. And I'm Madison Turner. And from everyone here at Central Virginia News, have a great day.